Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group, and today we're here to do a product review on the Beadbug 3. So, what's it all about? Quite often, in a laboratory, you have a range of difficult samples that you want to lyse or homogenize and take into suspension. In this example, we have three very difficult samples. We have this one here, which, believe it or not, is one of the last green leaves uh, from a tree in our applications room. Uh, here, we have a particularly complex sample. This is uh, literally a part of a tree with the flowers at the end, and you can see here the bead at the bottom. And here, we have a piece of salami, courtesy of one of the pizzas from our team upstairs. Now that's got fat, it's got skin, it's got a range of other things. These samples would usually be quite difficult to actually homogenize and to bring into suspension. And there are a range of different ways that you could do that. It's like for instance, a sonicator. And this is a probe off a sonicator. And the advantage here is that it will break open cells really, really effectively. You get 20,000 cycles per second of sonic waves that literally come in and expand and collapse the liquid underneath it causing cavitation, which will literally smash open cells. What's really nice about this is it's easy to clean. You can wipe it off, you can uh, decontaminate it, you can sterilize it, the probe at least. But the problem is that if you have fibrous material, like say for instance leaves or meat or trees, sonicating waves simply won't break these things open. Another approach is to use something like a traditional ultratarix or high shear uh, homogenizer. And so what happens here is you have one non-moving blade and a rotating internal blade, and this rotates at high velocity thousands of times per, per minute, and it's like having scissors that cut. And these are very effective for fibrous materials as long as they're in suspension. And so here, for instance, you can see this part of a tree with its leaves is in suspension. A smaller version of this would work really, really effectively. But the problem with using something like this is it's very hard to clean. It's very hard to separate samples from one to the other, particularly if you're working with DNA or RNA or some fine component, because it's so hard to remove the last sample completely from the new sample. And so you find yourself spending more time cleaning in between runs than you do actually using the device. Plus they're incredibly noisy. So what else could you use? Well, you could use a vortex mixer and this just essentially vibrates and rotates something at high speed. But again, that's not very aggressive and really won't break open a leaf or a tree or another sample like that. Now you can go for expensive solutions like mixer mills and you can pay thousands and thousands and thousands. You can pay $15,000 on a mixer mill and that'll do a tremendous result, especially if you need to do something like smash open something in liquid nitrogen. But if you don't have $15,000, then the Beadbug 3 is a tremendous, tremendous product. And here's how it works. First, what you need to do is you need to choose the right combination of beads for your actual sample. Now these are available in a range of sizes from 0.1 up to 6 mil, that is the beads. And they come pre-packaged in, in a little resealable container like this. And so they range in price between $300 and $500, and that's for a pack of 50. So once you've picked your bead size, you load your sample in solution directly in, close the cap, and away you go. To load the instrument is quite simple. Simply clip them into position, and you'll hear a clip. Close the lid, choose your speed and your time. And so you'll see here that this is currently set to 4,000 RPM and the time is currently set to 45 seconds. Let's give it a go and see how she does. To get started, just push start. Right. So let's see how we went. So that was a leaf. And that's a tremendous result in 45 seconds. Absolutely outstanding.
That was a piece of salami. So you can see here in 45 seconds, we haven't achieved a complete homogenization. Probably what we need to do is we either need to run it for slightly longer than 45 seconds, or we need to choose a different configuration of beads. But overall, not a bad job in 45 seconds. Probably a slightly heavier bead would be more optimal. And you see here, where we've put a very heavy bead in. The bead that went in this one is identical to this bead here. So by bringing in a heavier bead, we've done quite a good job of actually breaking open that plant with the small flowers on top of it into suspension. So you have a choice of different materials and different sizes of beads. You've got stainless steel, you've got zirconia, you've got glass, and you get them in a pack of 50 or, and that's pre-sealed by the way, inside the little, inside the little tube, or you can buy bulk just the beads, or you can buy empty tubes. So how much would you expect to pay for this little beast? Well, the best part is it's only in the vicinity of $2,000. So when you put together the package, you're talking a saving of many thousands of dollars, plus you don't need to clean, do laborious cleaning in between homogenizations, and you get a very effective result. It's also available in a six position and a 24 position design, and Honestly, at this price point, we think this is a fabulous package for homogenizing and lysing your difficult samples. So that's the awesome Beadbug 3 from Benchmark Scientific. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.